Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here in the bathroom in uh, not so sunny Dundee. Well, it's not sunny just now because this is an evening shave, nighttime shave. Um, Dundee is on the east coast of Scotland in the UK, about one hour north of Edinburgh. Uh, so if you know where Edinburgh is, you go about, drive about an hour north on the east coast, that's where this bathroom is. Hello. Um, right, today's shave is a bit of a mixture of everything again. Some new things, um, some things I've used before. The razor, as you've seen from the title, is the Blackland Blackbird, but this is the light plate. Um, the Blackland Blackbird's been out for, uh, I don't know, about seven years maybe. Um, it's quite a blade forward razor, so which means there's a bit of blade feel to it. It's uh, very efficient, smooth, uh, stainless steel, beautifully made uh, in the USA. But they decided to, for, for those who thought it was too much blade feel, they decided to uh, release or make another plate. And this is the light, uh, if you can see that there. So I'm going to focus, come on, focus, focus, please, please focus, please. Uh, yeah, it, it says light, just there. There we go, come on, yeah. <laughs> there we go, way, it took its time. That's why my videos are so long. Yeah, so this is a, exactly the same plate, but just um, a bit less efficient, a less blade feel, aggressive, whatever you want to say. Uh, the only thing I will say about this is, um, these corners, are very, very sharp uh, on the, the top cap. These, they're not too bad, still a little bit sharp, but that's my only gripe with this razor. But really well made. Yeah, look at the handle, beautiful. So that's the razor, the Blackland Blackbird Light. Now you can buy the whole razor or you can just buy, uh, if you wanna just buy that plate, you can buy that which is what I've done, because I've already got the, the whole razor, which I bought um, a while back. Right, the soap. The Gentleman's Groom Room, Mei Chang. Uh, this is, I'm just gonna say this is a lemon scented soap. Uh, yeah, beautiful, really, really nice. There are other things going on in it, but it's predominantly um, lemon, not a sweet, kind of sugary, uh, like a candy lemon. It's just nice, it's just really nice, it's made by Wickham's, uh, Wickham soap, so it's a, a vegan soap. There's the ingredients there. Uh, handmade especially for the gentleman's groom room, Dundee, Scotland. Uh, and I like this little bit here, I never actually noticed that. This little writing here, shave wherever you want to be kissed. <laughs> I'm just gonna shave my face tonight. On camera. Right, so the, the, there's the ingredients if you want to pause it. Yeah, so it's a nice, um, it's a slightly different recipe from the uh, normal Wickham's recipe, but not too different. Right, so uh, the brush I'm going to be using is a badger brush. It's been soaking in the deluxe sticky toffee pudding super soaker. Uh, it's this here, this is a, a wolf whiskers. Badger brush, look at that. Yeah, it was um, a special release from uh, Maggards. Uh, and I was very kindly gifted this from Alexander Kaplan, who I met in London. Uh, some of you might know him as Oivey Chapo. Um, I met him in London about three, maybe four or five years ago now. Uh, and he very kindly gifted me this brush. Beautiful, yeah, wolf whiskers, badger knot, really nice. Um, yeah, it was quite embarrassing. I was like, I don't want that brush, please, please don't give me that brush, please. I want you to have it, Kevy, I want you to have it. I was like, oh my God. But um, yeah, very kind, so thank you. Uh, I don't use it often, because it's a kind of special brush, but I wanted to use it tonight, so that's why I'm using it. The blade that's going in the Blackbird is a brand new Gillette Silver Blue. So let's get that blade loaded into there. Gillette Silver Blue Stainless. There we go. 
Right. Put that on there. The Blackland Blackbird Light. Yeah, there's a little kind of recessed bit in here in the top cap, and you'll see that bit there, which just fits nicely into there. So no need for the little plastic washer. There we go. There's the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of overhang, but look at that. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah. So we'll see how um, less efficient or less blade feel or less aggressive it is. Um, the Blackland Blackbird, right, light, right, light, light, right, light. Right, let's give this horse taking a piss. <laughs> right, let's just go right into the soap. This is a, a quite a big knot, badger knot, so um, I'll load it heavy. Why not? How are your shaves going? Good? Hope you're well. Hope everything's going okay for you in your life. Hope you're happy. Positive. And enjoying life. Right, I'm just going to dip the tips a little bit just to gather some more soap. I should have just uh, put some water on top of the soap, really, shouldn't I? Nice scent. Very nice. If you like lemon scented soaps, you will love this. Um, there is a matching splash for this. I, I can't remember buying it. And I, I searched up, up in the in the in the room I keep all the shave gear in. And I couldn't see it, I couldn't see it anywhere, but that's happened to me before. <laughs> I didn't think I had Buddha Wood, uh, which is another gentleman's groom room soap, and uh, I didn't have, I think I had the splash for it, so I bought another one, and about two weeks later, I found the original bottle, so there we go. It happens. Right, look at that. Right, let's wet the face. And uh, we'll and just enjoy this shave. Yeah, the um, the knot on this brush is. Um, you've heard people saying it feels like a pillow, putting a pillow across your face. That's what it feels like. It's just a big old knot, soft. Um, a little bit of gel tips on it. But it's just beautiful, right? Let's paint some water in. So I'm just, um, the brush is like that, I'm just putting a little bit, just the end in the water. You can see the water going into the lather. A little bit more. So you're just putting the lather on the face before you display the brush, which is just like this. And the uh, lather comes to life. For anyone new, um, let's just start watching my videos or uh, subscribe or what. Uh, this is probably the favorite, most favorite part for me of the shave, is uh, building the lather. It's really, I find it really enjoyable. Some people like uh, just to get the soap on the face and then start shaving, but I like to take my time. A bit more water. Yeah, just work the soap into the bristles. Make them soft. 
you know, they'll have just came out of the shower, but. I'm just enjoying this. I'm not going to, there's not going to be any nonsense, okay? <laughs> a couple of people have turned off. Oh, I just come for the nonsense, Kevy. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. There's not going to be any nonsense tonight. <laughs> right, that looks good. I'm happy with that. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. Let's put some hot water in that blade. Uh, the black land, blackbird. Light. Yeah, it still feels uh, efficient. There is definitely not as much blade feel, which for me is a good thing, personally. You hear that? That's Riley, my dog. He has this little ball that we put in, like little, not treats, but just like dry food in it, little dry biscuits. And uh, it has a hole in it, and he rolls it about in the biscuits <laughs> fall out. And uh, yeah, it's his little game. He really enjoys doing it, and that was him. He goes in um, on the stairs and does it. Like you'll probably hear it in a second, bouncing down the stairs. Yeah, this is a nice blade in this. Go smooth. Easy to get under the nose. And there's the first pass. Yeah, great slickness on that. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, that's that rinsed. Back to this. Beautiful. Oh, that's, do you think that's too high? <laughs> Nearly went in my eye there. <laughs> yeah, the beautiful wolf whiskers brush. Yeah, so because most of the whiskers are removed now, you can just uh, paint the lather on like this. You don't have to really work it into the skin, into the bristles, because you're just looking for um, slickness now for the razor. Yeah, it's a great scent. Um, predominantly lemon, I would say. But a, a nice lemon, really nice. Right, second pass with the Blackbird Light from Blackland Razors.
Now the only thing I will say about this, uh, which I was saying about the sharp corners, you can almost feel them. Um, in some places on your skin. Yeah, you can almost feel like the, the sharpness. Just to these little corners here. Just as you're uh, going over the skin. Even though it's a light touch, it's just, you can uh, feel it. It's still an efficient razor. And um, I have heard people comment, and I know what they mean. I think in the last shave, um, I mentioned about the the what was it? What was that called? The yake. I can't remember what it was called, but I remember saying that the top cap really glides and some of the razors, some razors you use kind of, almost feels like it's kind of sucking to your face. Um, this is one of them. It has that kind of feel. The Yucky Bohemia, it was called. I think they offer this in uh, titanium as well. This uh, the 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 Blackland Blackbird Light. I think they do in tita titanium, but I think it's quite expensive. Uh, this is just the the stainless, not the polished finish, just the kind of machined finish. But nicely made, very nice, nice handle as well, really good. And you do get it in a longer handle as well. Right, enough chat. That feels good. <laughs> that feels good. Right, let me rinse. I'll come back for the third pass. Right, good. Right, let's uh, just take what's in the tub here. Let's give me a, another little layer. Yeah, if you're not familiar with the uh, the brand of soap, the Gentleman's Groom Room, it's a it's a bricks and mortar store here in my hometown, home city. Um, so you can go in and you can smell the soaps, pick them up, see what they look like, uh, test out aftershaves. There's lots and lots of testers there. Um, one of the few bricks and mortar stores left in the world, shaving, um, shaving shops. I've actually not been there for a long time, so I need to go and pay um, Ian. Ian is the guy that owns the store, runs things. Great guy to talk to and um, just while away an hour, just talking about shaving gear and stuff. Very knowledgeable man and a very decent guy. Right. Third pass against the grain with the Blackland Blackbird light. Uh, nice audio feedback on that. There's not much there because there's not much left. Has anyone else tried this razor? Uh, 
I know a lot of people like the Blackbird, but have you tried the Blackbird, the, the light version? It's a good idea for a uh, black land to do that with this razor. Because a lot of people thought it was um, it was a lot of blade feel to it, myself included. But for me, it, um, personally, it feels more, uh, for me, more user-friendly now. Uh, whereas the, the normal plate, which I'll still use, but there's always a, a little bit of, uh, you always, I, I'm always personally a little bit wary using it, just because I think, oh, I can feel that's, uh, that feels quite aggressive. Like it's quite a lot of blade feel, so not that I'm a lover of that. Right, three passes done, <laughs> that feels incredible. Right, let me have a little rinse here. Let's see if there's any little bits needing re gone over, re gone over, re gone over. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that even a word? Sounds like one word. Welcome to re gone over. Sounds like a country somewhere. <laughs> Regon over. Where did you go on uh, on your holidays? Oh, I went to Regon over. It was amazing. And what did you do? Just did the same thing every day. Just Regon over the same thing. Are you going back to Regon over? Yeah, definitely. That feels great. Good slickness on the soap too. My stash feels brilliant. Right, excellent. Right, let's have a face wash. See how much uh, lather is left in this. A good amount. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Right, face wash time. For this brilliant soap. Great shave, fantastic. Right, on to the post shave. Uh, as this is um, a night shave, an evening shave, the towels and stuff and the lights and everything, um, I don't wanna go crazy with aftershave, so going for something that doesn't stick around too long, but it's very nice. Um, I think this would pair well with this soap. Uh, this is the Superdrug Sierra and Breeze. Sierra and Breeze. Uh, it has a, a kind of, citrusy vibe to it. I don't know if you could still get these actually in Superdrug, I'll have to check, I'm not actually sure. Yeah, very cheap, they're only about three pounds, three pound fifty. Yeah, just a nice, uh, just a nice citrusy kind of vibe to it. Like a, an old school classic scent. Uh, and I'm gonna finish it off with a Trixo, which is a just a moisturizer. Has a, a kind of lemon scent to it again. Shows you how, how long this has been on the go. My mother used to use this when I was a kid. It's really good stuff. Yeah, it, um, it absorbs very quickly. So, I don't know if you can get that in the States, can you? Or is it just a, is it a UK thing? I'm not sure. 
enriched moisturising cream with chamomile it says but good stuff here we go great shave right let me show you what I've used today tonight this evening <laughs> the razor was the Blackland Blackbird light with the light plate uh, which you can see under there yeah um, which one do I prefer? I prefer this one this plate over the the normal plate just for my particular taste um, it's a little bit smooth well they're both smooth but there's a little less blade feel which is what they why they brought this out so perfect really really good um, the reason they brought it out was because people were saying too much blade feel it's a little bit aggressive uh, so they made this plate for this razor uh, and it does work it's uh, it's everything the black land blackbird should have been for me personally but there we go um, that's it the black land blackbird light good razor um, the soap was the gentleman's groom room Mei Chang shaving soap uh, yeah it's their own soap made by Wickham's but very good like a just a, a nice lemon lemon scent it's uh, very very nice very nice very 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 nice it's very 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 nice uh, the brush the wolf whiskers look at that look at that all cleaned out that's beautiful what a beautiful knot that is um, yeah wolf whiskers uh, this is the I don't know what it's called just the some people said you should call it the Joker because it looks like uh, the Joker from um, Batman let's just call it the Wolf Whiskers Oivy that's what that's what I'll call it well on this shave I'll probably forget by the next time you use it well we use the uh, deluxe sticky to boot and super soaker um, three passes a couple of little pickups post shave was super drug CR and breeze and finished it off with the moisturiser, a Trixo enriched moisturising cream. And then we'll go. Soon be time for bed. That's good. Yeah, but um, a nice shave. I really enjoyed that. I like that um, light blackbird plate. Right, all for me for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for all the comments and uh, stuff like that. Questions and stuff like that. Very good. I enjoy reading them all. Uh, I really appreciate your support over the years. Um, very very good I love it right okay I'll see you in the next video uh, when that'll be I don't know as I say I don't schedule these any kind of strict time just whenever I can whenever I have time I'll do it uh, but it's always nice to to do that and uh, live shaves there's always a chance of one of them popping up at some point <laughs> you never know just uh, depending on how I feel but um, yeah really enjoyed that right okay I'll see you in the next shave until then take care